Hi guys, Mike here from Antarctic Games, just doing an integration tutorial for Component Journal. Uh, this is just a basic third person template with a bit of starter content um, and just the Component Journal added to it. Now the third person template just uses the standard player controller built into UE4. So I'm going to show you how to make your own. Um, you're probably already using your own. Um, the steps will be the same to integrate it into your one. So we'll just go into third person blueprint, into blueprints right click new blueprint class and player controller and let's call it BP PC test hit enter and we'll open it up and we want to add the C journal component and under class settings add BP int comp J controller compile and save Go into the event graph, we don't need those. And I'm just going to open up the component journal, blueprints, the PC comp J, and I'm going to copy all of this. Control C and then Control V, paste it in here. Compile and save. Now in your own um, player controller, as long as you've got the setup journal components in there, and these entries down here, it will all work. Um, you might want to make an interact action for the J or add it on to your, uh, one of your custom buttons, but um, I just had to put that keyboard J in, otherwise I would have had to make a create project instead of add to project. Um, but that will work for us for today. And then we just need to go back into the third person blueprint, blueprints into the game mode, and change the player controller class to use our new one. Then if you push play, the journal will appear but there won't be anything in it as yet. Right, now we'll open the third person character and we'll go to class settings, add bpn comp j character, compile and save and you want to make the event initialize and off the player controller pin drag that off promote to variable we'll just call it player controller and in the get player controller interface here click on that drag that variable off add that there and that's fine and that's all we need to do to set it all up and working so as long as your character has got get player controller and the initialize event that journal will, will add in entries to it now if you want to create a new entry just open up the dt comp j entry and i've made one here called new item i'll just show you how to um, how to make another one, I'll call it new item 2. Remember the row name is what you use to call them from within the world. So new item 2. Button name. I'll oh, choose the texture first to see if we can find something pretty cool. Doesn't seem to be too much too cool in the, in the basic textures, but we'll just use this UE4 logo again. And we'll call it UE4 logo 2 and the title another UE4 logo and the entry text can be as big as you want um, this texture 2 just has to be a um, texture 2D so we'll just say we really like the UE4 logo. Now these buttons, uh, button 1 through 6, just show in order which they appear in the journal. Um, you can change change those to read whatever you want, but just because everybody will be different, I'll set them from button 1 to 6. If you want to edit that, you just open the Comp J Topics. 
and just edit those names there and it will show up in the data table. So if we wanted to add a place, just go to component, journal, blueprints and grab BP place, throw it into the world and over in place name we'll say uh, item new item 2, I think that's what we call it and save it if you run into it and open the journal there we are, UE4 logo 2 quite simple and if you want to create something happening like a pickup event um, so we go to content, component journal, example pickup, we've got the BP pickup and then you just make a, a blueprint and add this to it it'll make a pickup event as long as whatever you're doing you use the get player controller from the other actor and add entry with entry name being the name row name of the entry you want to open up it'll work so we'll go ahead and make a make a quick one we'll make a new actor called it BP uh, I know what I'm going to use a statue BP statue pickup so we'll open that up content into the starter contents uh, go into props drag the statue out throw it in here and we'll also add a component we'll add a sphere collision drag it up uh, make this radius Make it 50, see how that looks. That looks a bit better. File and save. And go into the event graph. Don't need any of those. Click on the sphere. Go into the event graph. Right click. Add event for sphere. Collision. On component, pick an overlap. And the easiest way to do it is just to go into content. Component journal. Example pickup. Open that up. Copy all of that over and paste it in there. I'll explain these ones as we go. Link up the pins. Now what does implement interface? It just checks if, if the actor that ran over the pickup uses our um, character interface to stop our NPCs and other people doing the pickup. Just got to create the entry name, create that variable, entry name, and make it instant editable so that uh, each instance can open up a different one if you like. File and save. Then we can just drag that out into the world, we'll put it over here. Entry name, we'll make it pick up new item. When you push play, run it over, push J, items, there's the UE4 logo, the first item. And that's pretty much all there is to it guys, so uh, enjoy.